everyone and welcome back to As They Grow Up. This is Samantha and today I'm going to share with you our family's top five favorite games. So stay tuned. So guys, we love playing games in our house. Um, we played it when our girls were little all the time and now that our boys are getting older, they really love game time. Not to say that we didn't play it when they were younger, but the older they get, the more they really love that game time. Now, I'm not talking about video games. Don't get me wrong. They love their video games, but I'm talking about board games, games that we can sit down as a family and play together. This video is in collab with Cat Brody and the We Love Collapse Facebook page, and I'll be sure to put links down below for that, but let's get started. First off, one of our favorite games is Archery Dice, and this game is by Simply Fun, and this is just a really cool game. We were first introduced to this game this past year, so we've been playing this game for about a year, I guess, and it's great. My boys love anything that has to do with targets and shooting and, and things like that. And I'm going to open this up and let you see inside really quick. But the object of the game is you try to collect the targets. And so you set up with, you put three of these targets out in the middle. And each player, they get a color of die. So there's blue, yellow, red, and green. And then you also have your little matching um, base that it sits on. So what you do is you stack up the three die that you get and you flip them. And you try to land on the three targets. The person who has the highest number on that target wins the target. Um, you can knock your opponent's die off, or better yet, you can steal their entire stack that they've collected as well if you hit it. So this is just a really fun game. My boys are very competitive by nature, and this game is at the top of our list. And once again, this is Archery Dice by Simply Fun. Next up is a newer game on our list, and it's by Blue Orange, and it's Kaboom. Once again, we have our targets. Uh, Kaboom is really cool. It's a pretty, it's a fast-paced game. I'm going to open it up and let you see what's inside. So you have your catapults, and you have your um, your tiles. And as what happens is you put your tiles. This is the the major tile. This tile is worth if if you can build this in a certain amount of time you win the whole game. But you set every one of these tiles up around this and they all have to be touching. And each tile has a different number like five and six or three. And that is really how hard the difficult level of the build. While you, the, um, the master builder, are trying to build this, you have the saboteurs who are trying to shoot your build down. So you have your catapults and you have your bullets. And so you're, depending on the number of players that are actually playing the game, is depending on how many of your bullets you get. So, uh, but here's the catch. Once you shoot all of those, then you can't shoot anymore. You can't regather them and keep aiming at the master builder. This is your timer, and the master builder gets 30 seconds. They can build one build, they can build three builds, however much, whoops, sorry about that, however many pieces they have depending on their build card that they're choosing, they can build it if you have enough pieces. Sometimes you don't. If it's a big build, you don't have the additional pieces. But anyway, this board, this game is so much fun, and we love it. And once again, it is by Blue Orange, and it's a fast-paced game, and it's for ages, and I'm going to tell you wrong, six and up. So two to five players can play it, and this is Kaboom. Okay, next up is a game also by Blue Orange. We have a lot of Blue Orange games, and we just love them. Not only are they fun, but they're educational, and they just work different parts. So you're probably you're going to see a lot of Blue Orange in our video. Uh, top that. This one we started. We got this uh, this past summer, and it is so fun. You have the little um, hat here, and. The goal is, once again, this is a speed type game, which my boys love because the faster the game, the more I can keep their interest. So, once again, they're six and nine, so we like the fast-paced games. But each person gets this. And then you have your hat, you have a coin, you have a red cylinder. Uh-oh, I dropped my rabbit. You have another cylinder with a hole in it, and then you have a bunny rabbit. 
And so the object of this game is you draw a card. And with the card, if they are grayed out, you have to hide those objects inside these objects. So the goal is to stack the objects that you see on the card. And if they're not pictured, then you don't hide it. And if there is a star around an object, nothing can go in it. So it's really fun, and it's a fast-paced game, and they have to think fast. Um, my six-year-old loves it, but he is quick to remind us. He'll say, take it easy on me. He just turned six, so he's, he's very fast to say, take this easy on me. I'm still little. Because it is a little harder for the six-year-old. Of course, for as an adult, it's easier for us, so we do sometimes take it slower for the boys. But once again, this is top of that, and it's by Blue Orange. The next game that we have, and we have had this game in our house for many years, and that is Goblet Gobblers. And I was actually, when I was looking for Christmas presents this a few weeks ago, I was looking, and I noticed they've even changed the uh, board cover. So we have had this game for quite a while, and um, I actually got this, goodness, when they, I think my oldest was five. We've had it for quite a while. Um, but it's really fun. It's a version of Tic-Tac-Toe, and you have your little um, gobblers. And you have blue and you have orange gobblers. And you put your board, your little pieces here. So it's quick setup, quick take down, quick game. So you have these and you set them up like a tic-tac-toe board. And you have the different size gobblers. So you have these guys. And so you can choose to start with a big guy or the small guy or the medium guy. But you got to think ahead of what your opponent is going to be doing because if they put... A little one down, you can gobble him up. But if you use, or even him, you can gobble him up. But if you use your big one first, it may be impossible to gobble up, especially if all you have left is the little guy. So this is just a really fun game. Both of my boys have so much fun with this game. And like I said, we have had this for many years, and it is still a favorite, and it is played several times a week. And once again, that's Goblet Gobblers. So be sure to check that out. Last, but definitely not least, this game is new to us, and we love it. I just actually finished playing a game around with Luke just a minute ago, and I might take some footage up at the end of us playing it. He won. Uh, maybe or maybe not, I let him win. Um, I don't want him to get discouraged all the time. So I don't believe in letting kids win, but I also don't want him to get discouraged and not want to play the game. But last but not least is the game Bricks, and this is also a blue-orange game. And you can have up to, um, well, it's two players is how many can play that, and it's for ages 7 and up. And basically, this is like a step above Connect 4 is what I like to say. Because the object of the game is to line your pieces up. And you can do it with um, X's and O's instead of the dots. So you can, there's three different ways to play the game. You can do, for a beginner, you can just have them match their, all their colors. You have to have four in a row. You can do the other symbols. You can do it like that. Or a lot of times with Luke, I'll say, well, you're orange. Or he'll say, well, I'm orange O, so I'm blue X. So we'll play it that way. For the more advanced game, you can choose, my opponent can be, say, the X's and the O's. And I would be the blues and the oranges. So the goal would be to try to get my colors that, that I have, my characteristics lined up. Or, or theirs. And the thing is with this is when you put it on there, you stack them up so they can stack this way or that way, and you see they're connected. So if I'm putting my orange X down on the back side where my opponent is playing, I can also be helping them. So you always have to be aware of that. Are you helping your opponent to win? So you have to kind of think ahead in how you uh, place your pieces. So it's really fun. It's a quick game. I want to say we may spend probably maybe five to ten minutes play. I mean, it, it goes fast. It depends on how on top of the game they are. But once again, this is the uh, Bricks game by Blue Orange. Okay, guys, and that's it. I really could probably list 20 of our favorite games. We have so many. Um, we have Tinsy we love. Of course, there's Pie Face, you know, and there's... Uh, would you rather and, and things like that. So we have tons of games that we love to play in our home. But these are some of our top favorites that they're always, always, always pulling out. So thank you for tuning in. And if you enjoyed our video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Have a great day.